Hi everyone, so this is the first vid of lesson two for solving equations with modulus. Right, so it says solve the modulus of 6 minus 3x uh, equals x plus 1. So in the past, you just kind of rearrange them and solve them, wouldn't you? But you've got to be a little bit careful now. So you've got to think about the graph of 6 minus 3x. Now I've got the original part of the graph, which is this part here. So this bit here, that I'm just kind of wiggling on, but you don't need to wiggle on it if you don't want to. That's my original positive part of the graph. This bit down here, the dotted line, gets reflected. And it gets reflected to this other blue line, which is the negative part of the graph. So I've got an original positive part and a negative part. I might just get rid of the little. So I've got a positive part and a negative part, and I don't really make a lot of difference to what we're going to do, because we're just going to we're going to we're going to make sure we deal with it, but we we don't you know overly need to be happy with it. So I'm going to look at y equals x plus one. So y equals x plus one is going to go through. Not like that. It's going to be a little bit steeper, but never mind. I can't just move it around, can I? No. Oh yeah. I can. I have get my technical on it. There. Kind of. There. That's kind of right, isn't it? Go through, you can put yours through one of one. Or one of minus one, I should say. So I've got something going like that. So I've got two points of intersection there. So I've got that point, and I've got that point there. Okay. Right, so that's my y equals x plus one. So what I want to do, so what I want to do is look at when 6 minus 3x is positive. So I'm going to look where it's positive. So that's a plus 6 minus 3x is equal to x plus 1. I'm also going to look where the modulus bit is negative, the bit which was reflected up. So that's minus 6 minus 3x is x plus 1. And now if I just expand my brackets and rearrange it, double check my mark, and then for this one, And in theory, this one here is 5 over 4, and this one here is, is it 7 over 2. 7 over 2, which they kind of look right, don't they? Like the left hand one looks like it's gone past 1, and the right hand one kind of looks around 3.5. So let's graph it on the calculator, and we might as well. Uh, so I want my two equations, don't I? Oh, we've got my two equations. So I've got. The modulus of 6 minus 3x, and I've also got x plus 1. So let's have a look. There we go. So that kind of looks like my picture, doesn't it? I can zoom my x in a little bit if I wanted to, uh, so it looks more obvious. I might do that actually. Let's do minus 3 to about 8 on the x. It make the Vs look a bit shallower, but you can see the, the picture's better. And then if I do my G solve and my intersection, I've got 1.25, which is my 5 over 4, and I've got 3.5. So I'm okay, aren't I? I've got it. It's fine. So my calc works. So you'll find, well, you might find people who square it and rearrange it. So just kind of be careful with that. So it's dead simple. You just do the positive bit, which is the original part. So the original part, which was positive, uh, gave me 5 over 4. And the reflected bit was 7 over 2. So, you know, there we go. So there's one for you to do. There. So you can graph them. 
There we go. So you've got the plus bit. And the minus bit. There. Right, so we've got this one now. So 2x plus a equals 1. So we're going to think about why well, why equals 2x plus anything. So it would have been uh, something like that. So I've got a V-shape. So if I think about y equals 2x plus a, when x is 0, y is a. When y is 0, so 0 is 2x. Oops plus a, if I do the rearrange, it's minus a over 2. There. That's minus a over 2 there, if we're drawing it. And then I'm looking where, um, I'm looking where it crosses the line y equals 1. Now it tells me that the constant's bigger than 1. Well that must mean then that I've got a flat line which is below it. I've got one there. So same idea, just look at the positive. So plus 2x plus a is equal to 1. Then look at the negative. So minus 2x plus a is equal to 1. So I'm replacing the bit inside the modulus because that's the bit that has the sign half around with. So 2x plus a is 1. So I'm going to have a 1 minus a divided by 2 is x. So that's fine, isn't it? Well, I've got a minus 2x minus a is 1. So if I flip it over, I've got a minus a minus 1 is 2x. So minus a minus 1 all over 2 for x. Or you can take the minus 1 out as a, as a fraction. Now I've got some questions for you to have a go at. So please have a go at these. But well, these are nice and simple. Compared to say like the functions and stuff we've just done, this is really, really nice. There you go. There's another example, but I'm going to start another video. Okay. Bye bye.